All right, the great search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit Lady Ada User Powers Engineering to find things that you're looking for on digikey.com. It is hard to find parts, but with Lady Ada's help, you could probably find the things that you need. Lady Ada, what is the great search this week? This week, so I was, I was expecting, I was expecting you to say something else. I was expecting to say something too, but then I figured I was kind of done. Okay. I was like, you know, I think I've said it all. Okay. Uh, so this week we got a little bit of a mailbag. Someone wrote in and they said, um, I want a 16-bit DAC, and I think you should have a STEM QT board because we have a 12-bit DAC board. And I was like, you're correct, we do. But we don't have a 16-bit DAC board. And there are some times where you want 16 bits of resolution. We have 16-bit ADC. So let's go to the computer and I'll, I'll show all this stuff off. So um, we have the... A couple of different, we have 12-bit DACs. The MCP4725 is a fine DAC. We also have the quad version, not in stock because you can't get this chip anymore. Um, the 4728. Uh, so these are our two uh, DAC boards. Um, but there are, are people who want to use um, our ADC boards. Uh, we'll notice that we have 12 and 16-bit ADCs. So, you know, they're more expensive. Like, once you get past 10 or 12 bits, you're, you're definitely going to be paying more. Um, but if you really need that resolution, you know, you want 16 bits, you want 16 bits. So let's find a uh, DAC board. So I'm actually just going to search for DAC. Um, and there's a lot of DACs. And here's something to watch out for when you're searching for DACs. First off, there's a two-bit DAC. That's like, that's just like a single resistor divider, guys. Like, do you really need a whole chip to do that? Um, so for DAX, um, you know, there's, there's 13,000 of them, so let's filter what we want. So, you know, we want 16 bits or better, um, and we want to be surface mount because we want to put it in our uh, STEM QT board, and we want it to be I squared C, ideally, so that we don't have to have any sort of, um, you know, converter or, or translator. So let's go to number of bits, and let's select... Well, there's like a weird 12 slash 16, but we pretty much want 16 and up. So let's apply. Okay, so now we've reduced it to, and let's also look at only active chips because I don't, I don't care for the unactive stuff. So, um, oh, and then, you know, there's a lot of, like, look at these beasts, these monsters, but we don't want these. We actually really want uh, surface mount only because we're going to put this on the board. Okay. So now, now we're back to, to normal. Um, so one thing to watch for is um, a lot of DACs. You know, DACs, there's actually kind of like two, two kinds of DACs. I mean, there's more, but there's kind of two kinds of DACs. There is, um, you know, if I sort by price, there are, um, you know, the CS4334, which is actually kind of a famous um, I2S DAC. So when you're looking for DACs, there's, there's basically like three interfaces for DACs for the most part. There's the I squared C, kind of slower DACs, but you know, it's I squared C, so it's very easy to integrate. Um, there's SPI, and uh, we've used SPI DACs before, like our wave uh, shield to play wave files. We could, you know, you basically pump in SPI, SPI data and the 16 bits gets converted to analog output. And there's um, I2S DACs. So technically anything that is I2S to audio is a DAC, um, but you do have to, you know, you can't just send and set data. With I2S, um, you know, one thing is that they're quite inexpensive. And so there's definitely gonna be cases, by the way, if you, if you need, if you are constantly setting an analog voltage, um, you, you probably could get away with I2S if you have the interface and, and you can stream that data out. But you have to continuously stream data or you're going to get, like, popping. Um, most DACs do, I2S DACs do not like it when you stop sending data. They're not going to, they're not going to hold that last value. Um, also, um, you know, some of them have limitations on the voltage range. Uh, some of them have volt, uh, limitations on how fast they can update. So um, there's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of times when I was looking at these DACs, there's a lot of I2S DACs. And I'll tell you another thing. Sometimes, you know, it's very easy to um, people mistype when they're categorizing these and I2S and I2C, like, you know, I make the mistake of I2S, I2C, I confuse the two. Um, so just be aware when you're searching for these, like, 
you know, this top one is, is labeled I2C, but it's not, it's, it's definitely I2S. Um, so the first thing is, uh, I'm actually going to remove, um, and only look at 16 bit and maybe, you know, dash DAC, because the 24 and 32 bit DACs are all the I2S DACs. Um, so let me apply that. And then the next thing I want to look at is um, the interface. Hold on. The number of converters. So I want like one or two. And then the interface down here, um, because I want this to be for a STEM IQT board, I really do want it to be, you know, only I squared C. I'll also pick up this dash here. But I don't want parallel or SPI or or serial. Okay, so this is what I came up with. And so all of these were actually pretty good options. Um, I'll say that um, none were in stock, <laughs> pretty much, except for this one from TI. Um, I did search, you know, and this is, you know, once in a while it's like, um, I, you know, it's like I'm trying to pick a part that's in stock, but with these, like none of them were. So, Given that none of them are in stock, um, I thought let's pick one that would be a really good option and then I'll just sign up to be notified when it is and then when it's ready, I'll, I'll you know, I can get samples and then I can maybe design it in. Um, so for pricing, once you get to the higher pricing, there, there basically the two options that seem pretty good are, um, you know, if I want something in stock right now, this is the only one that was in stock right now, but this um, ADI one, the AD5693, actually looked like a very, um, like a very nice design. Um, it has I squared C, the voltage analog and digital supply is uh, up to 5.5 volts, which is really nice. Um, it's a voltage buffered output, it's 16 bits. I also know that ADI makes really, really good analog stuff. So um, I think if I'm gonna design a 16 bit DAC board with STEM IQT for I squared C to 16 bit DAC out. I think that this is the, um, this is what I'm going to uh, go with. So I'm going to, um, I can't order it right now, but what I will do is I'm going to add this to my, um, you know, so you can subscribe to get told when it will be back in stock. I think it was going to be a while. I don't know, it doesn't have, it doesn't have a lead time even. Um, and then um, when this is available, you know, I can design the PCB and get it ready. And then when it comes into stock, I'll, um, I'll be able to design something with this. So uh, the AD 5693, so the nice person who mailed, um, this is the 16-bit DAC that I would pick. And it's a great church.